Hello friends and welcome back to our YouTube channel eAdventures and it currently finds us in Hungary on our way back to home. We are in a place called Kekskemet at the Aushan shopping city center and we are charging. It's very warm today, 37.5 degrees, 38 degrees. Um, we had some issues over here, we have arrived according to the app to this location. We tried that charger there, it wasn't working took us the deposit money, 100 HUF, the local currency in Hungary, didn't work. Then there was another gentleman here with the Kia Nero. We had to wait for him to finish because the machine cannot charge two cars in the same time. It only can charge one for some reason. So we waited. Now, as we waited, we have installed the new app, created an account, put again the credit card. All good. The car is charging now has already a 26% range done and is charging with a speed of 24.4 kilowatts. We're hoping to leave this place in an hour and a half. Um, so we're gonna go inside, have a look in this shopping center. It's the first time here. Um, and then our plan is to go to Budapest. It's also known as the Parliament Building of Budapest. It opened in 1904 and it is amazingly 96 meters tall and it is a famous landmark in Budapest. It also has a little bit of water.
This is the Kossuth Leis monument. It is an important national symbol for Hungary. This scene is an official celebration that happened long ago, and it represents that. And it's all in front of the Hungarian Parliament building, and in front of this nice cut grass. This here behind me is the Isfan Tisa monument. It's a monument of Isfan Tisa, who was the ex Prime Minister leader of Hungary between the years 1903 and 1905. And behind that is the Hungarian Parliament Visitor Center, where, as in the name, it's probably the center where visitors can go and look around inside. And this river here is called the Danube River, which we presented to you as well in the last video in Galatz. As you can see, it is really clean. There's no litter inside it. And it's quite surprising that it goes from all the way to Galatz to here. This here is the Shet Chani chain bridge and it crosses over the Danube River. As you can see, the bridge connects two pieces of land and this might surprise you, but those two pieces of land are actually half and half what the capital's name is. One side is called Buda, one side is called Pest. Which side is Buda and which side is Pest? Well, that side there we presume is Buda as the Buda castle is within our view. The area is 4.73 kilometers squared and it started construction around the 14th and 20th century. This bridge was built in 1840 and opened in 1849 on the 20th of November. And its architect is William Tierney Kark, and it is 375 meters in length.
we have arrived to Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. Behind me is a beautiful sculpture. It's called Zena es Krachum. Absolutely impressive. Also, this is a place um, in the old town where you can find loads of uh, restaurants and terraces and also it's full of nightlife. On the other side here, um, you have the exhibition tower that also can be visited. As you can see, uh, even if it's midnight, um, Bratislava is absolutely lovely, full of life, nightlife. Uh, behind me over there is the Gate of Mihail. In Slovakian it's called uh, Mihail Branska. And on the other side here, you'll be able to see loads of uh, restaurants and loads of people still on the streets. Behind me is uh, St. Martin's Cathedral. It's a Gothic style cathedral. Behind me, uh, it's a beautiful bridge. It's called Most SMP or uh, Novi Most in Slovakian. It's a bridge that over the Danube River. So once again, folks, we are at the Danube River. See? Look at this. I really like Bratislava. It's full of life. The bridge has also a passerelle where people can uh, walk and go with the electric scooters or bikes and the cars will go on top, which is absolutely amazing. So our plan is to go and uh, have three or four hours of sleep. Uh, we are looking in the area for a um, charging point. Unfortunately, um, couldn't find a good charging point, only 22 kilowatts. The only one that we found was three kilometers away from here. It was a 50 kilowatts, but it was asking for a deposit of 50 euro. And uh, I don't think it's worth it because after we get some rest, we will uh, go to Austria in uh, Vienna and uh, we'll also head to Germany. So I would like to thank you for, for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, eAdventures, and don't forget to follow us on our socials. Have a good evening.